Good morning, friend of mine. I am Pastor Hugh McKenzie, a pastor from the Seventh-day Adventist Church. A happy day to you and your loved ones. Every morning we share two chapters from the audio Bible narrated by Alexander Scorby and a devotional from one of the chapters shared. May you be spiritually blessed and refreshed as you listen. Please share the presentations so that someone else may be blessed. May God continue to bless you and your family as you listen every day. God bless you. The Second Epistle of Paul the Apostle to Timothy, Chapter 3 This know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such turn away, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with divers lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now as Jannes and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured. But out of them all the Lord delivered me, Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. Our text for today is Psalm 119, verse 105. The Bible says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Again, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Psalm 119 verse 105 Today's message is entitled, The Bible, A Light for My Way. The Bible, A Light for My Way. Let us pray, loving Heavenly Father. We thank you for this another opportunity to study your word. We pray that as we listen, your Holy Spirit will overshadow us for Christ's sake. Amen. The Bible, most wondrous book, bright candle of the Lord, star of eternity, the only light by which the ship of man can navigate the sea of life and gain the course of bliss security. An unknown writer said, The Bible, this book is the mind of God, the state of man, the way of salvation, the doom of sinners, and the happiness of believers. Its doctrines are holy, its precepts are binding, its histories are true, and its decisions are immutable. Read it to be wise, believe it to be safe, practice it to be holy. It contains light to direct you, food to support you and the comfort to cheer you. It is the traveler's map, the pilgrim's staff, the pilot's compass, the soldier's sword, 
and the Christian's character. Here, paradise is restored, heaven open, and the gates of hell disclosed. Christ is its grand subject, our good its design, and the glory of God its end. It should fill the memory, rule the heart, and guide the feet. Read it slowly, frequently, prayerfully. It is a mine of wealth, a paradise of glory, and a river of pleasure. Follow its precepts, and it will lead you to Calvary, to the empty tomb, to a resurrected life in Christ. Yes, to glory itself for all eternity. No wonder 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16 declares, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Friend of mine, why should not this book, this precious treasure, be exalted and esteemed as a valued friend? This is our chart across the stormy sea of life. It is our guidebook showing us the way to the eternal mansions and the character we must have to inhabit them. There is no book the reading of which will so elevate and strengthen the mind as the study, the reading of the Bible. Here, the intellect, the mind, will find themes of the most elevated character to call out its powers. There is nothing that will so endow with vigor all our faculties as bringing them in contact with the stupendous truths of revelation. Friend of mine, the effort to grasp and measure these great truths expands the mind. We may dig down deep into the mind of truth, we may dig down deep into the mine of truth and gather precious treasures with which to enrich the soul. Here we may learn the true way to live, the safe way to die. My brothers and sisters, a familiar acquaintance with the scriptures sharpens the discerning powers and fortifies the soul against the attacks of Satan. The Bible is the sword of the Spirit, says the scriptures, which will never fail to defeat the adversary, Satan. It is the only true guide in all matters of faith and practice. You know, friend of mine, the reason why Satan has so great control over the minds and hearts of men is that they have not made the word of God the man of their counsel and all their ways have not been tried by the true test. We say that again, the reason why Satan has so great control over the minds and hearts of men and women is that they have not made the word of God the man of their counsel and all their ways have not been tried by the true test, the word of God. Friend of mine, the Bible will show us what course we must pursue to become heirs of glory. You see, friend of mine, as the heart is open to the entrance of the word, light from the throne of God will shine into the soul, into the spiritual life. That word, cherished in the heart, will yield to the student of the scriptures a treasure, a treasure of knowledge that is priceless. Its ennobling principles will stamp the character with honesty and truthfulness and temperance and integrity. Friend of mine, you cannot feed on the Word of God and remain the same. If you spend time in this Word every day, God through the Word will mold you. Friend of mine, it is a joy to feed on the Word of God. Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 16 says, Thy words were found, and I did eat them, 
and thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of mine heart for I am called by thy name O Lord God of hosts friend of mine as you feed on the Bible as you feed on the Bible the Word of God may Jeremiah's experience be yours today and always let us pray loving Heavenly Father thank you for the transforming nourishing power of your word help us dear Jesus to make a decision today to read your word every day and to ask your Holy Spirit to feed us from its richness is our prayer in Jesus name Amen <music>